Good morning, everybody. It's me. I just got done with some morning chores. I wanted to do a quick video before I have to run off to work. But um, I wanted to show you guys what I figured out. We have something in the run to keep them dry. Well, drier, anyways. Um, we don't have a roof over the run yet, so that is a project for eventually. But we have an overabundance of pine needles in our backyard because we have this giant sequoia and then I think that's just a regular like Douglas fir or something so um, I was looking at all the different things that you can buy and that you can get for uh, the run I, I messaged a bunch of people in one of my Facebook groups and I asked about that what can I put down because I didn't want them to get bumblefoot or anything so I was kind of worried about that but um, this is my solution I just put down about three wheelbarrows full of pine needles so we'll see what happens I'm kind of hoping they seem like I, I had them in piles in the yard and they were composting and I was going to use them for green matter in my actual compost or brown matter sorry in my actual compost pile but um, I figured this might be a better use and kind of a bonus as I was moving it into the wheelbarrow I noticed tons of slugs so the chickens are enjoying a slug and bug feast right now like i said we had them composting so there are a lot of other bugs in there too but there were a lot of slugs and funny story so we're originally from wisconsin we moved to oregon um you know in wisconsin when you say slugs you think of like slugs like small little black slugs um first time i ever saw a banana slug pff, mind blown okay these things are huge i actually have a picture of one that's next to my foot and it's almost the size of my foot and I have I have like you know I wear like a size 10 in women's so I don't have small feet they're huge but um they're kind of hibernating right now because it's cold and rainy and wet and gross and they don't like to come out when it's cold and so now my chickens are taking care of a pest problem for me um I'm thinking that at some point before I plant this spring I'm going to get some, I'm hoping to get some electric fencing and, or even just put some temporary posts in and run some chicken wire and let them range, free range, uh, they'll be in a fence, but um, over in the garden area just to get some of the pests out of there too. Um, I know when I was checking on the garlic the other day I did find some slugs in that bed so I'm kind of bummed out about that. I, I don't like having to deal with pests, but luckily they do. They love them. They think that they're the most delicious thing ever in life. Look at Rogelio and his majestical self. So, so sassy. And then another thing I did today was strung up some lettuce for these guys. Um, like I said, it's very muddy. So trying to figure out a way to have them get some greens and um, everything. Everything we are putting in here was just getting covered in mud and they weren't eating it. So I went ahead strung up a couple heads of lettuce and they're loving it it's like a toy and a snack all in one so that's the chicken update for today hopefully i'll do another longer video tomorrow i just wanted to share this because i thought it was a pretty neat idea hopefully it works if you've had any experience using this as a bedding in your coop let me know what your experiences were below so i know if i made a huge mistake or if this is actually a pretty good idea uh I gotta go to work now though, so I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll see you later.